area of the kitchen that we've dedicated uh, to the nighttime routine. And uh, one area here, this drawer, is geared towards um, preparing lunches for the next day. All of our boys are in college, and we have one in college in California, um, so I'm paying room and board there. So any way that we can save money, we try to. And one of the ways we do that is we encourage them to take a lunch. So I've ordered off of Amazon different size um, prep containers. So after dinner, I if they have school the next day, I'll say, hey, you need to make your lunch, you know. And so they'll come over here and they'll uh, prepare lunch and stick it in the fridge and then take it the next day. I also have two sets of the... Um, soup containers where they could make a sandwich and take some fruit or something if we don't have leftovers. There's um, some paper sacks. And then I buy these kits by the case. They have salt and pepper, the cutlery, a hand wipe, a napkin. Because I found with our kids, they're really bad about bringing home the silverware. <laughs> And then it's like, you know, I end up with like two forks. <laughs> I need, I need 10. So this drawer here is um, kind of my little linen drawer for the kitchen. I keep an extra set of, of kitchen towels. So if I'm changing them out in the evening, I can just uh, change them out and put the dirty ones in the, the laundry. And the same thing with the towels. And then if I need a new sponge, um, I'll trade that out. I was a cardiac scrub nurse so like I, I change out the sponges a lot and I just recycle them to the cleaning area because there's a lot of germs on them but um I heard if you put them in the dishwasher and you um, run them through the cycle it helps now this end cap of the center island has three drawers and three cabinets and this um, drawer here is where I have all of the Ziploc baggies. I use those acrylic dividers that I like so much. And if you haven't seen them, I'll put a link in the description box and a um, card above if you're interested in learning more about it. I have the snack bags, the um, sandwich bags, quart, gallon, and two gallon um, Ziplocs. And then down here in this cabinet, I have like all my containers for leftovers to put in the fridge. I have um, the foil and the plastic wrap and then this is where we keep our um, grocery sacks when we come home. I have the ones I take like if I go to Aldi's or something but sometimes we go somewhere and I'll save the, the plastic ones. Now the, uh, the oven and the stove is right behind me so I keep oven mitts and a stick blender here just for convenience but I also keep a bunch of um, spatulas and again when we're at this end of the kitchen and we're putting stuff away it's just helpful to have a few spatulas so you can get every little bit of those leftovers into those uh, to-go containers let's see what else okay in here this is the trash and recycling center uh, we have a trash can and then a dedicated aluminum glass and plastic container. It just works for us to have everything sorted and it just makes it easier when we go to the recycler. And then finally in this drawer, this is the drawer that I call Ken's drawer because <laughs> Ken takes out the trash. And um, this drawer has um, extra trash bags, some Clorox wipes, so if there's a spill or something in the trash can he can just wipe it out. It's just convenient. I try to stay ahead on my stick ups. I change them out once a month and I try to use coupons and get them on sale. There's some um, gloves in case there's a bad spill, you can put gloves on. Some spray, some larger bags. And then I also keep in here, just for myself, these are filters um, that I use in my fruit and vegetable drawers and they absorb all of the gases that they let off and keeps the vegetables and fruit fresher longer and there's four in a pack you once you open them it activates them and then they're only good for three months 
So I put the date on there that I need to change them out. So March 1st, I need to change out the um, filters. So that's the um, area that we've dedicated to our night routine just to make things a little bit easier to make it easy for the kids to pack their lunch thereby saving us some money and getting the recycling kind of organized so it's not a messy job and then finally making it easy for Ken to take out the trash so mama doesn't have to. And that's all we got. That's our project for home organization this week. Hope you enjoyed the tour of this area of our kitchen. Thank you.